Hey guys, Everything Technology here, and for quite a while I've been using the ASUS X5L as my go-to video editing laptop. And for the three to five hundred dollars, depending on which configuration you want, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with how well this handles 4K and even 1080p video editing. I'd even go as far as saying that this is probably the best budget video editing laptop in my opinion. As for the design of this laptop, I actually really like it. Um, the texture on the back feels really weird, but again, it looks really great under good lighting. And opening up the laptop, you are presented with silver accents, which truly go well with a black body. And speaking of the body, the build quality of it is not too bad. It does feel really cheap coming from a MacBook, but for the amount you're spending, there's barely any flex on the display, and the keyboard is very sturdy. Speaking of the keyboard, I actually like it. Even though the keyboard feels a bit cheap, it's fairly responsive, the key travel is surprisingly good, and the spacing is okay. I actually type on this just as fast as I type on my MacBook. And as for the trackpad, there's a little latency which can definitely get annoying while video editing and even using some of the built-in gestures, so for the most part I use my wireless mouse. Now taking a look around the laptop, on the right side you will find a disk drive, USB 2.0 port, headphone jack, and SD card slot. Now on the left side, there's two USB 3.0 ports, HDMI, VGA, and Ethernet. Onto the bottom, there's four rubber feet, which do considerable jobs, intake vents, two speakers that are actually pretty good, and they're pretty comparable to the ones on my MacBook. A RAM slot, which is upgradable. Currently, I do have six gigs of RAM that it came with, but I was considering adding another 8 gig stick, but not anymore, I don't see the need to. I came to the conclusion that the six gigs of RAM that was included with it is doing pretty well. Also on the bottom, you'll see some screws and opening them up, you get access to the one terabyte upgradable hard drive. I actually swapped it with a SanDisk 120 gigabyte SSD, which I reinstalled Windows on it. If you're wondering where I got it, I actually picked it up at Best Buy for only $40. I'll have it linked down in the description. This has made the laptop considerably more snappy, so I'll recommend you do the same if you do pick it up or if you just own any type of laptop. And since we're talking about what's inside, let's take a look at some specs. For the configuration I have, you're getting an Intel Core i5-5200U, 6 gigs of DDR3 RAM clocked at 1600MHz, and a 1TB 5200 RPM hard drive, which like I mentioned, I replaced it with an SSD. You can also get this at a slightly lower and higher configuration, which you can get this with either a 5th generation Intel Core i3 or i7, but you'll still have the same amount of RAM and the same amount of storage. Opening it up, you are presented with a little bit over a 720p TN panel, which doesn't have the best view angles or quality. However, considering the amount you're paying for, you should expect this. And plus, you can always hook it up to an external monitor. So we've talked about the internals, but what matters most is my overall experience using this laptop. Well, like I mentioned, this used to be my go-to video editing machine, and also said I'm impressed with how great this edits 4K footage. Even though I had to turn down the playback settings on Adobe Premiere, yes, there was lag from time to time, and the rendering speeds were not amazing. In fact, it took me um, 20 minutes to render a two to three minute video. But what still impresses me is the fact that this can edit 4K videos without crashing and only cost $450. I've actually um, owned several Windows laptops that have cost around $450 that cannot do nearly as much stuff as this can. And if you're gonna be editing 10 EP footage on this laptop, you're gonna love it even more because it flies over it. Now as for school, this handles multitasking like a champ. I'll have multiple tabs open and sometimes even music or even videos playing in the background and there will be no noticeable lag. So basically this is just as good for school as it is for video editing. And anyway, that's gonna do for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you do wanna pick up this laptop, it'll be linked down in the description. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave me a thumbs up down below and also comment down below if you have any feedback and subscribe to some more content like this. Bye.